All right, so right here I'm making a 36 volt lead acid battery, and um, uh, you'll notice I got three bricks. They're 12 volts, 12 amp hours each. I don't often build lead acid batteries, but in this case it's going on a trike that only needs to go less than five kilometers uh, with a Crystallite 409. 36 volt, 12 amp hours of lead acid just makes sense in this case. Um, to assemble the bricks, I took some double-sided foam tape. Uh, found this at the dollar store buck for a roll of it. Uh, put three strips between each battery, stuck them together so they don't rub against each other. And once they were all assembled into a mass, I took some filament tape, which is also found at dollar stores, shipping centers, Costco has this stuff, uh, Walmart. It's just shipping tape with nylon filaments in it. And basically string. Once they're all stuck together, it's as good as Velcro or uh, zip ties or anything else that would just hold the cells together so they don't move and then loosen up your connections. Um, took some 12 gauge wire, stripped the ends, soldered the tabs together, and since I have three cells in series, I'm going positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, combining each brick, and I have my positive and negatives at the end. Uh, so that's going to be 36 volt. Um, so at this point, I'm ready to take this is 12 gauge, uh, fairly thick stuff. Good enough for the 30 amp controller we're going to use. Strip back some strands. Now, um, when working with the solder iron, always make sure your tips are clean. See, I added some solder on it last time I used it, and it's all full of crud. So I'm just going to wipe that on a wet sponge, nice and shiny, and uh, add some solder to my tip. Solder on the cable there. Plastic tab. Some solder on here. And then cable goes over there. So, have our negative and positive wires for the pack. I'll take my hot glue gun and just beat up all the tabs with hot glue and secure my wires so that nothing frays. And uh, that's that. I'll bend some black PVC plastic, cover the batteries, give them some protection, and uh, we'll call it a battery pack. Okay, now um, I soldered on all my connections. Now, there's no problem with using some of these uh, connectors. They were basically flat tabs and they just push on there. If you don't have a soldering iron or you're not comfortable soldering, uh, you can use these and there's nothing wrong with them. The only thing is make sure you put a good loop of cable from one to the other so you can tape down all your cables because if these wiggle at all when you drive, they're going to come loose and your controller will cut out and you'll have all kinds of problems on the road. Um, I just found that solder is permanent. It never comes loose unless you want to take it out, which is a piece of cake. Lead acid cells are nice and tough. You don't have to worry about hurting them. When you want to solder to cells like this, for example, those lithium 18650 cells, these are spot welded because the cells are kind of fragile, they're jelly rolled, um, and the materials of the cells are right close to the tabs. Lead acid batteries, the manufacturing process itself, uh, it involves a lot of heat, and these are not that fragile. You can take an iron and safely solder to those and never have a problem. Now, the point I'm at, since I've got my cables in. I'm going to crimp some Andersons on here. If I can find my knife. There it is. Strip away some cable here. Grab my 
Let me try crimp tool. Now, um, I used to do the Anderson power poles with the hand vise, but since I bought one of these at PowerWorks, I'll never look back. They're so easy. You just crimp down your connector. Snap on your housing. Done. Now for the positive cable. And I use a blade knife to remove the jacket. You can buy those wire strippers unless you have the right cable, the right thickness jacket, and the right strands, those uh, tools that automatically pull the jacket off your cable, in my opinion, uh, do more harm than good. So I like to do the old blade knife method. Grab that there. Snap on my positive connector. And there we go. Six volts, as simple as that. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to take my hot glue gun, plug it in, and then beat up the tabs of every cell, and nothing will move, nothing will short. We'll be good to go.